I realize that for some of us, high school was a long, long time ago. <laughs> and I know that, you know, they, sometimes you hear that, um, everything I needed to know about life, I learned in kindergarten. And I don't know completely that that's true. I know that there are a lot of really cool things about that, but I will tell you one thing that I have decided and that I, I am reminded of over and over again. There are things about my brand, my connection, my message that I learned from prom. I am so thrilled to see you here. It is that time again. So grab your legend pack, crank your speakers, clear to 11. Welcome to legend. I want to talk to you a little bit about your prom and maybe, maybe it's not prom, but think about it for a minute, like high school. I mean, we're talking for me, decades, <laughs> multiple decades. Way back in the day, um, we had a junior prom. And in my high school, junior prom was super huge, super great big deal. It was the only prom that we had. Like, if not your prom, maybe there was some other big special event like that in high school or college. Um, in my high school, there was one for the junior class. The senior class did not have a prom. The sophomores didn't have one. It was all about being a junior. And everybody could come but the juniors got to do the promenade. Now, there were not, I was probably a year past hoop skirts. <laughs> I did not have a hoop, but we're talking like the big, fluffy, fuzzy, like huge um, dresses, like big. And, and the men were all in tuxedos or, I mean, like, like, like it, it was a big deal, very, very big, very formal. So, that was my experience of it. So if you're looking at your prom or some other big event like that in high school and college, you probably can't remember everything about that event, right? I mean, do you remember the date? Do you remember the, the night? Do you remember um, exactly what you were? Maybe, maybe you don't really remember even everything about your high school experience. But I'll bet, whether it's high school or college, I bet you remember one person very specifically. It may not have even been your date to the prom may have just been somebody. You probably remember that one guy from high school that you thought hung the moon. He was smart, he was kind, he was funny, and oh yeah, like, holy cow, beautiful, gorgeous. Uh, you were so in love with this guy when you got to dance with him once at prom, it made a lasting impression. Um, okay, yeah, I'm. this is totally something I had, yeah, I got to experience. But unfortunately, this beautiful boy was like, yay, Amber, so glad we're such good friends. Dang it, <laughs> I'm in the friend zone. He was kind of, at least at the time, he sure felt like the one who got away. Like, I never even had a chance to know if it was going to be fun or if it was going to be cool. I just had this dream of, oh my goodness, if only, right? Like, my memory of him goes way beyond knowing his name. So think of your one that got away. There are all kinds of details that you remember. Like in your memory, he was the one who talked like this or walked like this or he smelled like this or his voice sounded like this. His laugh, I remember his laugh. And when you think of him, it's like this gentle, sweet memory that kind of makes you, you know, just takes you a second. I definitely had one of those people in my high school. And I remember thinking, I mean, we're talking age 16, so a long time ago. I thought one date with him would be all that and a bag of chips. I thought if we could just go out once, then at least I would know. And maybe he would see that, see, I don't have to be just a friend. And we were close. Like we hung out a lot, but it was never, we were friends. Never got a date. Never happened. Never even went on a group date, let alone a one-on-one -on -one group. And it's all good. Like we stayed friends through and past graduation. I don't see him now. I haven't seen him in years. But his friendship is this really beautiful, happy memory. Now, the reason I remember him isn't just because I have a really great memory. Like at this moment, I'm not sure I could tell you, I'm not sure I could tell you where my keys are <laughs> right now, but I remember him. I remember the feelings back then because it was an emotionally charged time. It would prom itself in that one dance. He was my promenade partner. So like we got to dance this one dance and it was hugely emotionally charged. And that is what flips the switch on those memories. 
like everything in my world at that moment was making this permanent impression on my heart, my soul, my, my brain, right? All the things with all the feels. And without that emotional connection, you know, it would just be Tuesday. It really wouldn't be a thing. It would be like, oh yeah, it'd be like all the other dances in high school and college. It's, just, eh, it's fine. This is how you get to make an impression on your people. No, you don't have to dance with them. No, you don't have to wear a great big hoop skirt or a tuxedo. But this is how you get to make an impression on people, like really, truly making a lasting impression on them. You get to create how they have that uniquely beautiful experience to go beyond, you know, when they work with you, well, that was a really great price, or even go beyond, wow, I got really great results. You get to deliver an experience that renders you unforgettable in the heart and souls of your audience. That experience, the relationship with you, the connection with you, it starts earlier than you think. And it doesn't end as quickly as you think. And it all starts with you showing up fully real, fully engaged. Your connection with them and the experience you deliver is where it all begins. And it leads to beautiful relationships that transcend transaction. Try that. That experience gets to share that, I see you, I know you, I love you big, and I want to make sure you know that I, I feel you. I can see what you're going through. I am committed to meeting you where you're at right now, and I want to make sure that the solutions are tailored specifically for you. And when you create that quality experience, that deep connection, Oh, that, my friends, that is how 30 some odd years later, they remember the dance. They remember how fabulous, how heartbreaking, whatever that feeling is, they remember it. That's the difference between creating something with a logo, font, and color, and creating a brand that truly sets you on the path to legend. How do you create emotional connections with your people? Not just in your one-on-ones, because frankly, you don't have time to have a one-on-one -on -one with every single person you want to impact, with every single person you want to influence. So how are you creating that emotional connection, even if you're not live, even if you're not there to give them a great big squeeze? How are you delivering an experience that allows them to feel something different, something different about you, about themselves? How are you doing that? That's a legend move. Until I get to see you again and give you a great big hug, stay safe and rock on.